perfection. Hello and welcome to this review. Uh, so I've just seen She-Hulk. Uh, I have to say it's quite interesting. It's like Ali McBeal meet Friends or Sex in the City with superheroes. Uh, what's interesting about this, this is like, it's like life between all the big events in the Marvel Universe uh, or the MCU. And we touch on like Bruce's cousin Jennifer. Uh, there's a... Uh, alien spaceship that knocks the car off the road which i do wonder is that the opening for world war hulk it's sicarians they go off a cliff uh, they have an accident uh, uh, bruce's blood leaks into uh, jennifer and she becomes she hulk and uh, then she wakes up on uh, an island uh, where tony Stark built a lab with bruce uh, to help him become professor hulk or Dr. Hulk or whatever. Now, it, it's really interesting. It is funny. I think the actress that plays that, she is funny all the way through. And she's a character that stands out against giants like Hulk. She becomes centre stage of this programme, which I think is rather interesting. We've had 10 years of, you know, Mark Ruffalo playing the Hulk, and she stands equal. And that's what's interesting about this. I mean, there's a lot of funny one-liners in this, which I were in total stitches with, and a relationship with people. It's going to be interesting to see a workplace with the characters and all this. I mean, there's a great thing when she's in the uh, the lab with Bruce and he's telling her that, you know, this whole, and he gets a bit jealous because she can change when she wants, and he can't, it's a bit more complicated. And she knows how to she knows how to deal with him, you know. She comes out with some quite horrible things, and then there's a punch up between them both, and and that, and 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 then there's like this apology. But it is really funny. So just like in the, in the graphic novels and the comics, she does interact with you. You get this fourth wall thing where she does sort of talk to you, which makes it interesting. Now, this seemed a lot longer than 35 minutes, and that's what I did really enjoy about this. Now, I wish Disney had released two episodes, at least, because they got an hour. But it's going to be interesting how they're going to fit Daredevil from the Netflix verse, because that was down and broody. I've heard that they've uh, lightened him up, and that's going to be interesting, like where he was in Spider-Man, he had a sense of humour. It's going to be uh, where it's going to go with that character. I wonder if the Punisher's going to appear in this in one of the future seasons but i think we're going to get a lot of superheroes and villains turning up but it, it's we're in the world in between everything here you know like the the battle with thanos all the other stuff we're, this is like you know what's going on life in between and that's what i quite like about this show now the cgi has improved i have to say now, I did not knock this when it first came out. Uh, a lot of people thought it was a bit cheesy, but I've been a big fan of John Byrne, She-Hulk, when I bought all the comics and that. I thought he did a marvellous job with her. And uh, she's so funny. And then we get to, like, the court scene, the big court battle, and Titania fro uh, shows up, smashes her way in, she and her mate says, do your thing, and she does. She becomes shield and knocks out Titania, which is sort of rather funny. But obviously we're going to get a lot more with this. So we're only like, I feel like we've been cheated because it was only on 35 minutes, but maybe they're going to expand on this. But all in all, I'm going to give this 5 out of 5. I was thoroughly impressed with this. Now some at Marvel series like Moon Knight I wasn't really a fan of. A lot of people are not happy with where a lot of the Marvel series going. I did like Loki. I thought it was very good. And I did enjoy, uh, uh, what was it, Falcon and Winter Soldier? Now some people didn't. Uh, but Loki's been my favourite so far. But I have to say, this is up there. This was really good. And I think the casting in this, her and Mark Ruffalo worked wonderfully. So I do recommend you should check this out. I really do. And if you get a chance, buy some of the older graphic novels or comics. But please give this video a like. It's just a quick review. Please subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'm 
feeling very positive about this, but I really do wish we'd have got two episodes. But it's going to be interesting, so let's, I think there's seven episodes to go. So I'll see you on the next video. Live long and prosper. <laughs>